a sensational crime. An airtight alibi. We can't lay a finger on this guy. And a chain of evidence. Bring him in. Charles Bronson is a cop looking for a killer, and he's running out of time. Go ahead, take me in. You can't punish me. When the guilty go free, I just to be everybody. the system is the crime. I'm a mean, selfish son of a bitch, but I want a killer, and what I want comes first. Well, how come I've never heard him mention a daughter? It seldom crosses his mind that he has one. He's one angry man with someone to protect. How long are you with your father? Argue with that. He can make a difference. You like hurting girls? I won't answer that. Girls won't have anything to do with you, but you get back at them, don't you? <gasps> I won't listen to your filth. Uh, Look at him. Help! I gotta remind you about evidence obtained under duress. It's inadmissible, Leo. We got no evidence and we can't hold this kid. He's our man, Captain. I'm gonna get him. Found some blood. He's lying. There was no blood on my clothes and he knows it. Hey, How do you plead, Warren? Ah! Guilty or not guilty? Ah! Not guilty. The last thing I want to do is get involved with a cop. Well, I don't blame you. Leo, I went back to the lab and I talked to the technician. And I asked him if you... Why didn't you ask me? Is that true, Lieutenant? You planted the evidence. You know why. We could nail them sooner or later. After counting how many more dead. Lion! We had to be stopped. <laughs> Forget what's legal, do what's right. After all the evidence is in, he'll reach his own verdict and execute the sentence by the deadline. When there is no justice, this man is the law. Ten to midnight. Charles Bronson, Lisa Eilbacher, and Andrew Stevens in a Golan Globus production of a J. Lee Thompson film. Ten to midnight. <laughs>